Minty Mice and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeannie and you are in the best place for all of your Iceland planning tips. Today I'm in the beautiful city of downtown Reykjavik. I am about to join the Reykjavik food walk tour. If you've been here for a while you might remember that I have already done this tour but they have totally revamped the tour. There's new stops, new food and I am super hungry so I cannot wait to try their brand new menu. I'm just gonna go pick up my best friend Carly and we are gonna show you all of the best food. So stay tuned. The tour starts just outside of the beautiful Harpa Concert Hall. And if you're looking for your guide, all you have to do is look for the bright blue backpack. And did you know that the Reykjavik food tour has more five-star reviews on TripAdvisor than any other food tour in the world? Tours are offered in small group experiences and availability is very limited, especially during the summer months. So what you're gonna wanna do is head onto their website to check availability and book your tour as soon as possible. Here we're going to be trying out some slowly cooked lamb, really good, sort of life to char as well. But even though it's a you know, newly founded kind of trendy restaurant, the history of the building itself is actually kind of cool as well. It's one of the oldest still standing buildings in Reykjavik. Here we have slow cooked lamb on flatbread from the West Fjords. Uh, it has usual dressing, uh, horseradish dressing, and um, some red pickled onions and carrots. And then we have um, Arctic char on uh, chick pigolini with lentils and uh, horseradish sauce. The lamb was delicious. So many different flavors. You could tell that they've spent some time. It's, it's been brewing. The char, I love char. I thought it was really refreshing right after the lamb too. A nice little palate cleanser. Delicious. Finished the lamb and I'm going in for the Arctic char. Mm. Okay, wow. Can we get an amen for this weather? Are you kidding me? We have had some crazy storms in the last few months. Like it has been a tough winter, but this day, it's great. It's a, there's a blue sky. I am a big fan. So first restaurant complete. And uh, I can already see that because the food is so delicious, it's gonna be really tough to not eat too much. So we have like five restaurants after this and it's really important to pace yourself. So, note to self. So here we are at the famous Byron's Bestu. This is the hot dog stand that I'm sure all of you have heard about. As you can see, there's a gigantic line. I mean, this place lives up to the hype. Uh, and it's not just for tourists, it's for locals as well. So this is kind of one of those, those places that you have to go to. And you ordered the hot dog Einamed Atlu to have it the Icelandic way with all of the sauces and all of the onions. Trust me, you won't regret it. not only one but two cuisines, seafood cuisines. Uh, both their Arctic char 
which is their signature iconic dish. Super fresh fish served on the pan. Everything uh, that they serve, they have on the pan, uh, is either caught or grown in Iceland. So Icelandic tomatoes, potatoes. They add some honey glaze and some almonds as well to really give it some flavor. And then for the plok biscuit, or I would say plok biscuit with a bit of a twist because the head chef and one of the owners, when he was growing up and learning to become a chef, uh, he would work at a hotel outside of the city. And uh, the kitchen there was responsible for cooking food for both the hotel, but also a prison that was close by. Wow. It was his job every Thursday to cook for the prisoners. He knew he only had a limited amount of ingredients to choose from, but he was able to make a type of pork biscuit cuisine made it really really good and on Thursday is where the cafeteria at the prison had the highest level of attendance every single week. So they really enjoyed it and he just knew that when he would open up his own restaurant he had to have his signature Arctic char but also the prison food pork biscuit <laughs> as well. So both really really good, both very, very different. different, nice little contracts, family style. So you guys just dig in. So uh, the plot fisker is unbelievable. Like I've had it many times at different restaurants and even at home that we've prepared from the grocery store. And this is, doesn't even touch other plot fiskers that I've tried. So, oh my goodness. And then the Arctic char is divine. Like, and I'm not, I'm not being. No. No. The honey glaze, the, the almonds. Hon the honey glaze and the almonds, you guys, this is so good. This is a, uh, this is a highlight. Top notch. We love it. Uh, next place on the tour is called Islandske Baren. One of my favorite spots in the city. Islandske Baren means the Icelandic bar. Uh, with a name like that, it might sound a little bit touristy, but it's the exact opposite. And in my opinion, one of the best local hangouts in the city. Uh, they have amazing traditional Icelandic food, also a great selection of Icelandic beer. They try to buy in every single Icelandic beer that gets released. Uh, so we're going to be trying some good food, some good Icelandic beer, and if you guys are up for it, a tiny bit of fermented shark, if you dare. If you're ready, we'll hop on in. that this has to be such a part of Icelandic food. I swear I've like eaten shark on video <laughs> so many times and every time I'm like, this will be the last time <laughs> and somehow it's not. Five. Okay, it wasn't that bad. No, it was not I that did, bad. Yeah, Touristy okay. shark. I always like wait for it to get really bad. And, uh, it's still there. It's definitely there. <laughs> Here you have our lobster tacos. They are served with garlic mayo, spinach, red pickled onions, date puree, coriander, grated parmesan cheese, and I highly recommend to squeeze the lime over. Enjoy. It 
was amazing. This was so good. Uh, talk about like different flavors in here. And textures and between the pickled onions and the aioli, the dates, date sauce. Really loved it. Super surprising. The date on top of like all of the salty is so good. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm a big fan of this. All right. Are you guys ready for dessert? Our last stop of the day? Yes. Sounds good. All right, so we are headed to our last stop, which is Cafe Loki. We are headed up the iconic street of Skola Verlestiger and heading towards Hakrimskirka. So this is like the most iconic street in Reykjavik, really. The view over Cafe Loki is right towards the church. So this is such a cool place to end. And uh, I know what we're getting at this restaurant and I'm so excited because it's my favorite dessert. You guys know. You ready? Let's go. Alright, so here we are at our last stop of the day, Cafe Loki, which is a small little family run cafe here right by the church. Um, they're known for making really good rye bread and their signature cuisine is a dessert that we're going to be trying out which is their rye bread ice cream. That's where they mix rye bread and ice cream together. It's the only place in both all of Iceland but also the entire world where you can get rye bread ice cream. We're going to be having that plus a uh, Icelandic pastry. It's called the Kleina along with some coffee. Hope you guys are ready. Uh, their signature cuisine, the rye bread ice cream, known for making really, really good rye bread. Um, what they do before they put it in the ice cream is they bake it a little bit longer to make it a little bit, a little bit more crispy, a little bit more sweet as well. Mix it in with the ice cream. Uh, it's a family recipe that's been with them for I think about 64 years. And like I mentioned outside, it's the only place in uh, the world where you can get rye bread ice cream. It sounds like a strange mix, mixing rye bread and ice cream together. Uh, my favorite type of ice cream, so good. And then the uh, kleina or twisted donut, as they say in English, to go with it and some coffee. You guys will enjoy. Been dreaming about eating this ice cream again. I'm super excited. So rye bread ice cream with this view over Hakrimskirka on a blue sky day. No better way to end a food walk tour, so, scout. So good. So good. Who would have thought to put bread in the ice cream? I mean, two things I like a lot. <laughs> oh my goodness, my belly is so full and I'm so, so happy that we were able to take this tour on this beautiful day in downtown Reykjavik. If you guys want to book your tour, you can get 10% off with my code ICEVIEW. All you have to do is enter the code at checkout at wakeupreykjavik.com and you will get a discount on your tour. And trust me, I think that this is an incredible way to experience the foodie culture in Iceland. I really think that this would be like the perfect thing to do on your first day in Reykjavik. You can walk around the city a bit, you know, stretch your legs and taste some of the delicious Icelandic cuisine. Thank you so much to Wake Up Reykjavik for having me on your delicious and updated food tour. It was amazing. And thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I'll see you in the next video. And until then, happy planning.